always nice. So when we come up against a fire guy, instead of switching off and using a uh, water horn on people, we can just poke him, and it'll do a crap ton of damage. Wait, something with the word aqua in it does water damage? Yeah, I know. It's crazy how that works, right? I am full of shock and dismay. Yeah. We're gonna run back here real quick. Oh, yep, see? There's the air guy. Now, I always thought he looked a little green, so he should have been earth, but no. He's... He's there. He's, ye he's yellow. He's, got he's yellow with green horns. And he uses fang. I don't know if the other guy used his... attack on us, did he? Anyway, the different elements also have different... Oh, we critted. Jerk. So... Okay, so the Wind B was a Ska Wasp. This one is a Ska Eve. Is Ska, like, this game's language for wind or something? Hmm, probably. I don't really pay attention that much to it. <laughs> um... Yeah, the, 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 that's a good question, and you don't have an answer for me. I don't, because the wind attack isn't ska something. <laughs> like, it would make sense if, like, the wind attack was ska whatever, but it it's not. So, if they were trying to go with the language, they don't really stick to it. Hmm. The second game is a lot better about, like, sticking to crap like that. Um, but I don't like the second game that much, because it's poopy. Um, now we actually want the water form <coughs> of these guys, but I won't. Yeah, see, there we go, we're faster than it, so we got two turns. <coughs> or maybe it's because I ran into the back of it, I'm not sure if that gives you an initiative. I can't remember. I don't remember it giving you initiative. It does in the second game, but I don't think it always does here. That and a lot of stuff doesn't want to run away from you. Like, they do have an AI where if you're, like, way overpowered, they'll run away from you. Um, but for the most part, everything just always charges you. Because you never, like, get that much far ahead. Okay. And, but... We want the water form of these guys because the water form has a heal spell. And it is the first heal spell in the game. And the only one you can get for a very long time. <laughs> oh, hey. Awesome. Now, that was a stat boosting. I'm getting really lucky on the drops here. That was a stat boosting item, Strengthens Minion Spirit, which is their magic attack. Um, wow, I'm two drops in like 10 minutes? That's ridiculous. Now this chest needs a skeleton key, which I don't think is... No, it's back this way. There's only enough skeleton keys in the game to open every chest. Does that make sense? Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, you can sell them at the shop and get $375? But it's better just open the chests. Right. And there will be times... Let's see, he ran into the back of me. Yeah, okay. So I guess if you back attack something, you do get initiative. Um, oops. Yeah, so it's better just to open them and get all the goodies. And there'll be, like, f for most of the forest, you'll get a skeleton key and then use it. Um, in one of the forests, you'll have an extra one left over, and that's usually the one that gets sold. Um, but you want to hang on to that one for the next forest. Alright, now since these guys are air, I don't think I'm going to get the right type matchup that I want. Because this game is very predictable in its 
tight. Like, their palette swaps always occur at the same time. Mm -hmm. Oh, there we go. It switched. Okay. Yeah, so that acted as a loading screen. So if I was to turn around and go back, given enough time, that guy will respawn. Um, and if we don't go through another loading screen, he would be fire. But here's our water, dude. Come here. What? Come here, you little bastard. He wants to give you initiative, so he's running away. Yeah, and you can see we do a lot less damage. Will I kill him if I poke him? I don't think so. I really don't want to kid there we go. Okay. And he healed himself. That bastard. And he critted me, what the hell? He really doesn't want to get captured by you. Apparently, and if I poke him again, he'll die. I need him to defend. Now, the healing spell is very, very expensive to use. It's like 15 or 20 mana. But for the initial part of the game, it'll pretty much fully heal you. Which is good news. Yay, and that. Alright. We have another knowledge! What say the knowledge? While poisoned, your physical and magic attacks... Magic attack decreases and you do less damage. You also lose HP at the start of each turn. Wonderful! So yes, it kind of acts like burn damage in Pokemon. Um, I really want to conserve my HP. <laughs> but I don't want to use a, a herb. I think I'll kill him if I hit him one more time, right? Yep. Now, if you looked closely, you'd see his mouth was open while he was laying there. I'll and, check next time. And these guys are giving crap for experience now. Because they're level 1 and we are level 3. 3 and 4. He should survive. Okay, good. He's defending. He's gonna try and heal. Or not? Okay. Hopefully, we should be able to catch him because we're high enough level. But even with his sliver of health, he won't be able to get out. So well, that's one of the better things than uh, Pokemon. As you level up, it does become a lot easier to catch people. But do you get, like, improved cocoons that have higher chances as well? Nope. So, I mean, I guess that's how how uh, Pokemon balances it, is that you have better Pokeballs, so you can just catch them outright. Yeah, but it doesn't always work. You know? Like, especially on the freaking, like, legendaries. Sit there for hours throwing great balls at it. Okay, that's the guy we want. I am almost dead, so I am going to heal. Because these guys are assholes. Which is exactly why I want them. Or at least one of them. <clears throat> now, like I was saying before, the different elements of monsters have different attacks. For instance, these guys will fang poison us. Awesome. While the air version of them does claw poison. 
So if you merge them both together, you get two poison attacks. Why you would want two poison attacks, I have no idea. But you'll get the claw as well as the fang. That's pretty useful, I suppose. Cool, do they have different MP costs? No, they're the same. But it's, it's more beneficial, not so much when it's status effects, but let's say like the uh, the little horn demon dudes right you you take the fire and the air one merge them together one has fire horn oh you bastard the other one has air fang or whatever um, right, so you get two elements in one right but then if you merge all of the air out of him You'll lose the elemental fang attack, but you'll still have fang as a selectable option to use it. Mm -hmm. And it won't cost any mana, because it's just pretty much they're biting the other guy. And it'll do quite a well, not quite a bit, but it'll do more damage than just your standard attack, while still costing no mana. Hmm. And Sounds like a trick you might be using at some point. Yeah. And we get a rank up. Now that Venom Ring thing we got... Does... Yeah. It's a in-battle item. You can use it to try and poison all the guys in the area. Now, like most RPGs, if they use the status effect... They're resistant to the status effect. So, poisoning these guys would be a pain in the ass. Also, it seems like status attacks have slightly less of a chance to hit than... <clears throat> just like your standard attack. And I say that as I get hit. Fortunately! Status effects go away at the end of battle. Cool. So we do have items, like this one in particular, I think, is poison. Yeah. You can use this to get rid of poison in battle, but you can just also end the battle, and it'll get rid of the poison. Okay. <coughs> Excuse me. Now there's really there's really only like three status effects in this game. Uh, there's poison, sleep, and flesh to stone, which is pretty much like using break on somebody. Um, and it takes like four turns or something before they turn to stone, but as soon as they do, it's an uh, instant kill. And that would be a skeleton key I want. I don't want to fight you. No, thank you. I want to change his element. I also want to go open up that chest. Now, there are two other, like, status moves, but they're not so much status moves as debuffs. There's... Really? I am not having fun. There is Render Wings, which pretty much if your minion has wings, it cripples his wings, and it lowers your speed. Pretty sure it's speed. And then there's um, Break Legs, which only works on two-legged minions. And that'll lower their defense, I believe, is how it works. Other than that, it's pretty much just straight up elemental attacks. So, the game's very heavy on elemental attacks. Fortunately, that means there's no confusion, which would be a pain in the ass. Because I hate confusion. 
Now, this is the smallest forest, and we're spending a lot of time in it because I'm running back and forth between areas. Um, but you'll see once I finally... Yay! And we get all this stuff. Metabug Wart Herb is the second tier. Mug Wart Herb, Shab Lickers, the same, and the Iron Headband is our first other that we can equip, which lowers our speed greatly, but gives us defense. We're just going to leave that off. Oh, because we want the speed. Defense I'm not too worried about. Um, you can get different... Oh crap, each one of these is going to act like a loading screen. You can get different um, jackets and stuff, armor. Um, but for the most part, early on... Dang, there's two guys over here. For the most part, early on, we're going to be wearing this white tunic type thing. Oh, hey, look, and they buddied up. Which is unfortunate, because late game they get some pretty unique colors, and we could get a green one, but it's very, very expensive. And it's not really that great from what I remember. Oh, hey, we got a crit. But if you notice, ever so slightly, Pharaoh has gotten just ever so slightly bigger than what he used to be when we first got him. Okay, now we do want that guy. But I also want to see if these guys switched to air. No, they didn't. Okay. So, the end of the level is just up over there, but I do want this guy, because he's level 3. And you're level 4. Yes. <clears throat> this dude also has really high defense, obviously he's got armor plating on, but he's also got really high attack, which is very nice. I usually go with the, uh, I call them dogs. Um, these little dog dudes. I usually go with one of them just because they're pretty solid. Now, unlike everything else in this forest, which has had fire and air, this guy is going to be air and earth. And I'm dying, so that's not good. Okay, good. Sometimes, if they're quite a bit faster than you are, like, let's say if I put that, like, headband on, and his speed's so much higher than mine, when I did the switch back, he may have gotten an attack on me. So, even though it's your turn, and you do the switch, that doesn't always guarantee it's still going to be your turn. Which is kind of cheap, in my opinion. But, oh well. And then, off to the right. Oh, damn. Ah, uh, yeah, that's right, I broke two. The max empties you can ever carry is 12. Um... So, the fireflies, the nine fireflies, that's how many guys we've captured. You can go over here and look at them all. Mm -hmm. um, the empties is how many empty cocoons, whatever you have left. You have to go back to Mabu and she'll insta replenish them. I wanted to catch two more guys, but since we broke some, we can't. But that's okay, we'll just come back. Now, this thing, the beetle warp, lets us use this warp, which will take us back to the beginning. But we don't want to use that. This screen works as a loading screen. So, as you can see, our little friend up there is now green instead of yellow. 
how much HP do you have? Yeah. And it, yeah, okay, so after each battle, they will regain.